I had some technical issues. Okay, okay, fair enough. Yeah, so we are at the... Oh, we were doing subqueries almost end of the subqueries. We, okay. I showed you in uh, subqueries returning single values, subqueries returning multiple values, using exist operator to work on subqueries, which returns yeah. boolean true or false. Okay. Yes. Now, if there is a question, it has to be, let us see how do we answer this question. List all employees who earn salary, salary greater than average salary of their respective departments. How do you understand this question? You are an employee working in sales department. Yeah. I'm an employee working in purchase department. Sales department is department number 10. Purchase department is department number 20. Yeah. You are an employee of sales department. I'm an employee of purchase department. If yeah. my salary is greater than average salary of sales department, only then I'm eligible to be seen in the output. Yes. If your salary is greater than the average salary of purchase department, only then you are eligible to be seen in the output. So yes. that's the question. Let's yeah. all employees who earn a salary greater than average salary of their respective department. So we're going to write a query like this. Select staff of BNP where salary greater than select average of salary. Okay. Hello? Department number yeah. equal to even dot department. Hello? 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 Yes, Chris. Yeah. Can you hear me? Okay, now I can. Okay, okay. now I can hear you. Okay, average salary from employee. What's E two? Oh wow. Wait, wait, one second. Uh, so let's start on E and whose name is Evan. Who's E1 here? Even dot salary. Even is the alias name for the employee table. Even okay. is an alias name for the employee table. E2 is the alias name for the employee table. Even dot salary. See the query. Even dot select staff of EMP yeah. whose name is even. Where okay. even dot salary is greater than. Select average of salary from the employee whose name is E2 under the criteria that E2 dot department number equal to even dot department number. This is what is binding the criteria that respective department. Okay. We are writing a query where the inner and the outer are really connected with each other. How are they connected? They are connected with the criteria. This is called as a correlated subquery. Wherever you find a, a criteria between inner and outer query, this is called as a correlated subquery. Okay. So usually in subqueries what happens, the inner query works first and then the outer works based on the answer given by the inner. Yeah. In a correlated subquery, for every row present in the outer, the inner query is going to work. Okay, yeah, okay. So this so becomes a correlated subquery. Yeah, for every row present in the outer, the inner query is processed once. Okay, this is, this is okay. This is the first outer row should work, outer query should work, and then the inner query should will, will react to that. Yes. That's a, yes. Okay. Okay. So this is called as a correlated subquery. Okay. Inner and outer are connected with each other. But performance wise, it is going to take more time if the tables are having more number of rows. But we can't help. There would be multiple queries written on this criteria, written based on this condition. Yes. Okay. So okay, can you do this? Remember this correlated subquery. Uh, theory at least for the interview point of view, it is they will definitely ask. Practically, when we go to project, when we start working, you will find uh, uh, queries written like this. Okay, so they are nothing but correlated subqueries. Inner and outer are related with each other. So earlier they were independent queries. The inner would work based on the answer. What the inner gives, the outer would work. Okay. 
but now the inner and outer are connected with each other. For every row present in the outer, the inner is going to be processed once. So there is a continuous toggle or a switch between inner and outer. Yes. Uh, yeah. Internally, we cannot uh, we cannot realize how it happens, but mm -hmm. it would take time when we go when we take it to the real time work. If yeah. the number of rows in the tables are a half a million rows, then definitely you will find that there is some time taken. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's about subqueries. I've done all the examples of subqueries, all the types of subqueries. The fastest subquery is the subquery which is you return using exist operator. Because can I ask one thing just before, before, no, before that, like the, I'm talking about E2 here. So you're, you're, you're defining E2 in the inner subquery? Probably E2. Yes, E1 and E2 are yes, two tables. I need to connect E1 and E2. Okay. Yeah, well, E2, okay. This is where respective department number. See, we are finding the average salary from the employee table for that department number, which is same as the first employee's department number. E2 dot department number equal to E1 dot department number. So go to the outer, find the first employee's department number. Come back here, find the average salary. If that employee's salary is greater than the answer what you get, then he is eligible to be seen in the output? Yes. Yes. Then go back again to the inner query. Again for the inner query to be processed, hit to the second employee's department number in the employee table. Come back here, find the average salary of that department. If yes. the employee salary is more than the average salary, show that record in the output. Yes. So A2 department, A2 dot department number equal to E1 dot department number. Okay. Uh, okay. Average cell from employee E2. Very E2. This one's not working. This uh, this is invalid relation operator. Okay, that's something. No, no, there should be some typing mistake. Okay, so I'll, I'm just Next posting. Yes. I'm just posting on the. Uh, yeah, yeah, please do, please do. Post it on the chat. Yeah. Even the salary will be correct. Average of salary from employee two or two to that. Yes. Your poster. Let me see. Well, E one dot salary. I think you gave E dot one uh, salary. Okay. It is even dot salary. Yeah. Now, how do you find that yeah. thing? I'm just surprised. Like, how do you find? <laughs> how do you can like? No, no, okay. that place where you have. It's, no, no, uh, I understand. Like, how, how how do you like find this one? Like, you know, it's so hard to find. Because that. the operator, you see, the places where you have, you, you, we have used the operator is this, and we have used this operator. So nowhere uh, else they have used any operator in the query. So when I was reading from the beginning, from here, I found it like this in your case. Okay. I found That's it like this. Sorry, okay. Oh, yes. So there's the... nothing like that, right? It is even the cell. The missing right parenthesis, so yeah, that's true. Uh, so is it, oh, is that e dot one dot cell? No, it's e one dot cell, right? No, 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 it is even dot cell. That was yeah. the, your code, so I'm showing it. Okay. Was missing the right parenthesis? Like what? Okay, so. Again, you're disclosing parenthesis. This one, this one should be missing. Wait, let me see your code. I've not seen it completely. I still have like a result from EMT. E2, where E2 dot department number equals to even dot department number. That's fine. Oh, is it? Huh. Okay. Can you see if there's anything wrong in this one, please, if you don't mind? Like, when you, when you, can you paste it again? Yeah, yeah I'm placing it. Sorry. Select tab from EMT even, where even the style is greater than select average of style from EMT O. There's a mistake there. From EMT, whose name is E2. It's been repeated twice. From EMT, whose name is E2. There are two fronts. Okay. okay. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just... 
it looks complicated really but i don't know if, probably employee where employee okay can you see can i see the query again please pardon me okay from uh, from this to emp okay from emp okay now i got six rows okay yes yes Okay. That's about the lesson on subquery. So with this, we have completed all the select lessons, all the lessons to read data, read data from the table. Uh, different types of read operations we have done. So okay. next, what is that we are going to do? So okay, tomorrow's session, I will start. I will show you how to create your own table. Yeah. How to create your own table? How to insert data into the table? Okay, yeah. Chris. Okay. So I start. Here for today, I'll be on time. We'll see how we will go about. No, no just don't. don't. Yes. Yeah, don't don't rush, and I want to be safe. So <laughs> no problem. No, yeah, yeah. Even I uh, see. I I usually I do it for thirty sessions, but I don't yeah. think so. I can complete your course in twenty five. Usually I do it with twenty five to thirty sessions. I may take more time. It's okay. No problem. I'm not in any hurry. Okay. okay. Because I have a, a hectic schedule for the day. Sometimes yeah. like I get late because of uh, me reaching home a bit late. Okay. okay. Like I said, like I said, if, if, no, don't, don't. I, I know. You know if if you only take if you only only take half an hour or forty minutes, that's fine with me. Okay. I'm 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 totally oh, fine. No, with no, me. No, I, no. I want to be slow it on daily. So Today it happened like that only. Yeah. Today it happened like that only. But we could complete one module. So we finished sub queries today. So that's okay. a complete lesson done. So tomorrow we'll see how to create a table. Yeah. Okay. Then okay. we will see how to insert, update, delete the data for, into the table. So okay. the, the uh, three or four more sessions we will complete SQL. That's it. Okay. The entire skill comes to an end. Okay, okay. and then we have to start with your lesson. Welcome. Okay, thank you. Okay. Have a good day. Okay, Chris. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you. Bye. Bye.